Hi, I'm Stu, and this week on T3 Gadget TV, we'll be reviewing the new super small notebook from Sony. But first, we've got our hands on the latest touchscreen phone that's claiming to be the one to knock the iPod Touch off its perch. A lot have made a bid, but so far, none have managed it. Chris Smith's been assessing the smartphone's chances. As we said, there's been a lot of phones that have been billed as potential iPhone killers. We really think we might have found one with the Palm Pre. It's a staggering return to form for a company that looked absolutely dead and buried uh, in, in the past couple of years. Things we really like about this phone, the touchscreen seems fantastic. The option of having a um, QWERTY keyboard in there as well will please BlackBerry users no end. Now, we were also impressed with the way that the phone uh, has a great synergy with your means of contacting people. In the same screen, you can see whether your contacts are online, so you can find them by email or by instant messaging, or if they've gone online, you can reach them by a text message. This all happens within the one screen on the Palm Pre, whereas with some of the phones that you've seen out there on the market, it can take you five, six, seven, eight steps, different applications to achieve this. Next up, Ree Morgan's been taking a look at Sony's answer to the budget Asus range. She's been getting to grips with the new Sony Vio. So it's pretty light, measuring like 638 grams. So you kind of fit in your handbag, fit in your coat, and I can pick it up with one hand here, which is pretty hard for my weenie arms. It's got 2 gig of RAM and 60 gig of hard drive, working on an Intel Atom processor. With all those functionalities, you're only going to get battery life for three hours, but you can get an extendable battery, which will stretch that to eight hours. But inbuilt, it's got Wi-Fi in there and also 3G connectivity. So you just slip, slot in your SIM there and you're away on the internet using 3G. Now for the catch with this P-Series. The consumer model, which is the lower end model, is going to set you back £849. Yes, it's sexy, but I don't know if it's worth it. And with that price label and the economic downturn, that could count against it. Join us again next week. Bye for now.